Hey, this is Ponce, um, and as you can see, still with the new setup, because I'm in Vancouver, so the resolution, everything's different, but uh, don't worry, I'll get back to my old gear soon, once I move back. Um, but yeah, I'm here today on the public test realm to just kind of share some info with you guys. There's a lot of um, well, item changes so far. There's going to be a lot of changes, I think, in the coming days and I'll get all the information up. For now we're just going to do items. Um, it's a lot of minor cost changes, kind of like the last patch. Um, so I'm going to do that in alphabetical order here. i got them all written down. It's, it's that piece of paper that kept getting in the way earlier. But uh, yeah, let's, why don't we just start that out and I'll have some comments on what I think about some of these changes. Uh, but first let's start with Abyssal Scepter. So Abyssal Scepter is actually quite a minor change. Um, it's gone from 600 or 2,650 gold to a uh, total cost of 2,560 gold. And actually, the reason for that is because of Negatron Cloak uh, cost change. But that'll come up later. So basically, Negatron Cloak got cheaper. But I'll mention that again when we actually get to Negatron Cloak in the order of things. Um, next, we have Athenes, Unholy Grail. Uh, Athenes has also gone down slightly in price. Um, from 2,600 to 2,550, and the MR has gone up from 40 to 50, so it gives slightly more MR, uh, but its cooldown reduction has been nerfed. So it doesn't give 15 CDR anymore, it just gives a total with the Athenes on Holy Grail. So overall, of my opinion, that's a Mm, it's questionable. I'd say that's a bit of an error, because I just really like CDR, but I mean, other people will be happy with the MR gain, I guess, but I like CDR, so that's that. Avarice Blade, also been changed. Avarice, oops, spelled that correctly. Avarice Blade. Um, Avarice Blade used to give two gold per uh, every ten seconds. Now it's been buffed up to three per ten. Um, it's as far as I can know, the least used GP5 type item, so I guess that makes sense that they're trying to buff that. Um, I hated buying it when I had when I was trying out um, my um, building. Uh, what's that item called? Uh, Yolmu Ghost Blade early on Jarvan. I always hated getting it because it felt like a waste of time. So maybe it's a bit of a nice buff to that item. Uh, Banshee's Veil also been changed a bit. So let's go with that. Banshee's Veil. Here we go. Uh, Banshee's Veil also gone down in price a little bit from si 2,610 to 2,520. Uh, again, that's a result of Negatron Cloak getting slightly cheaper. Uh, let's do Deathfire Grasp. Deathfire Grasp has also been changed. 3,300 gold to 3,120 gold, so it's slightly cheaper, but um, again... Uh, it's gone from 15% to 10% CDR, so that's uh, the common point there is the fiendish codex, it looks like, um, as with um, Athenes. But anyway, let's move on to Elisa's Miracle. Uh, that item has also been changed. Now um, the unique passive says heal, clairvoyance, and clarity summoner spells are redu um, cooldowns are reduced by 30%. So basically it used to be, I believe, revive was in there. They've replaced revive with clarity now. So now it affects clarity, and it, uh, cooldowns are reduced by 30% as opposed to 20%. So it's been buffed by 10%, uh, like uh, an extra 10% has been thrown in there. Uh, next, next moot. Next, let's move on to Executioner's Calling. Um, Executioner's Calling has been changed in that the crit rate has been buffed to 20% from 15%. So that's a little buff for that item. Um, suppose that makes sense. I never see anyone use this item, and it's fairly situational. And it's not a huge buff, so I mean, it's something. So maybe we'll start seeing people making Executioner's Calling. Then again, though it is, of course, it was still a very situational item to, when you need healing reduction of the grievous wounds. So, next we have Frozen Heart. So Frozen Heart um, has been reduced to 2,950 gold. This is from 3,000 gold, which it is on live right now. And the armor amount has been increased to 95 from 90. So it's been slightly buffed. Um, which is interesting. I guess it's a result of people just building, uh, when they want armor, they're going down the health route and uh, 
getting um, what's that item called? Randuin's Omen. I guess it's probably more popular item. Plus, it also shares competition with Iceborne Gauntlet now, which is also an extremely good item. So I'm guessing Frozen Heart isn't seeing as much use. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna assume that's the reasoning behind that change there. Um, although Glacial Shroud has actually been kind of nerfed, in my opinion. So Glacial Shroud, um, it's uh, well, it's gone down to 4,050 or 1,450 gold from 1,500, and its armor has been increased to 45 from 40. So the stats have been buffed, and the cost has gone down, or the armor has been buffed. But uh, the problem is, cooldown reduction has gone down to 10 percent. Used to be 15 percent. So that's kind of annoying to me, just because, like I said earlier, I really love cooldown redux reduction. So it looks like they're kind of nerfing cooldown reduction all over the place in small amounts. Um, so that's sort of a, a roundabout nerf to Iceborne Gauntlet as well, which I'll get into actually next, <laughs> um, because they sort of chain off each other. So Iceborne Gauntlet has been changed. Um, it, the cost has gone up. It used to be three... Um, I don't know. It's gone down. So it used to be 3,400. Now it's 3,350. So a very minor cost reduction. Um, but it's the cooldown reduction has been nerfed to 10%. It used to be 15%. So basically it's gone down along with Glacial Shroud. So Glacial, it's just the uh, cooldown reduction um, goes directly into Iceborne Gauntlet without a buff. Also, if you use it on a ranged character, the uh, slow field size you create, that's been reduced to half. So this field is much smaller now. Um, so that's an interesting change. It's probably going to affect cha it'll infect champions like um, Ezreal, because I've been seeing a lot of Ezreal's build Iceborne Gauntlet. Uh, Nidalee is also another candidate for Iceborne Gauntlet. So stuff like that, not quite as good. Um, but yeah, for me, the main concern is cooldown reduction, because I really like Iceborne Gauntlet. But oh well. it's I mean, I like it for a reason, so I can't complain too much when it actually gets nerfed again. Uh, Leandri's Torment is next on the list. So Leandri's Torment has gone down to 50 AP from uh, 60 AP. So it's been nerfed um, slightly. It's not a huge change, but it's something. So another item I really like to make, and again, I tend to like items that are considered very good, I guess, or are just very good. So that's too unexpected. Uh, Mercurial Scimitar has also been buffed by uh, just its cost. That's all it's changed. It used to cost 3,810. It's gone down slightly to 3,700. Um, that's again a result of Negatron Cloak. So we're seeing a lot of cascading changes from Negatron Cloak. And we still haven't even got to that because uh, alphabetical order and all. But uh, yeah, it makes sense in general, like even if it wasn't a result of Negatron Cloak, that Mercurial Scimitar might get buffed. I mean, it seems like the go-to defensive items for things like AD carries tends to be, um, what's that item called? Uh, the one that brings you back, Guardian Angel, <laughs> there we go. Um, and even sometimes I, I'll see, like I've done it myself on certain situations where you'll just build like... Um, uh, war mogs on an AD carry. That, that's kind of situational, and I, I don't want to go into that too much. But, um, yeah, it looks like Mercurial Scimitar, slightly more viable option. Always was, in my opinion. But Alright, let's move on to the next page. Negatron Cloak. We're finally getting to that. Okay, here, here's basically what it is. Negatron Cloak, 810 gold to 720. So they're making magic just a bit cheaper to get now. Um... The Ohm Wrecker, this is basically just kind of like, it's not a whole new item, but it's gone through a lot of changes, so I'm going to go through this in a bit of detail. Um, the price has gone down to 2835 from 2850 so a very minor price reduction. But now the um, the items it build out, builds out of is completely different. It builds out of Ruby Crystal, uh, Philo Stone, and Blasting Wand, so it actually seems a lot more supportish in what they're trying to get this item on. It used to build out of, of course, a Catalyst and a Chain Vest, which is sort of a weird thing. Um, personally, I've never built Ohm Wrecker, so I can't really comment on it. Um, but, yeah something's happening to it. Um, of course, the stats as a result have changed. It now gives 3,000, no, 350 HP, 50 AP, 15 HP uh, 5, and 15 MP 5. This has changed from 
uh, 3,000, or 300, I think 3,000, that would be an awesome item, it gave that much hate health, but no, 350 HP, 300 mana, and 55 armor. So basically it no longer gives armor and uh, mana. So there you have that. Uh, let's go to Quicksilver Sash. This is another, again, a cascading change from Negatron Cloak, so it's slightly cheaper, 6,000, or 1,660 gold to 1,570 gold. So nothing too interesting there. Uh, Death Cap, this is kind of an interesting change. Ravidon's Death Cap, has the price has been increased, total cost, to 3,300 from 3,200. But the unique passive has gone up to 30%. This is from 25%. I believe it was actually 30% a long time ago, like a really long time ago. Um, I can't recall fully, so I'm not going to comment on that too much. But I guess this is a... Ch um, a reaction to Negatron becoming cheaper and maybe uh, penetration being more attractive um, as a result of the season three changes, but I don't know. Maybe they just want to make Death Cap stronger. We'll see how that works out. Um, there's also a void, ca uh, void staff change, so that kind of makes me think I'm on the right track there. But we'll get into void staff later. For now, we have um, Spectral Wraith. Uh, this item has been changed in that it now has a thing that um, reduces cooldown of smite by 20%. So basically they just threw that new little thing on there. And to be honest, Spirit of the Spectral Wraith is kind of a weird item anyway. I'm not a jungle specialist, so I'm not really sure who would be building it in the first place. Um, I've never actually seen it in a game. I don't know if that means it's good or bad. I'm not going to comment on it, but... It, just throwing that out there, it now just suddenly makes Smite 20% faster. Uh, Spirit Visage has also, of course, been changed as a result of um, the Negatron Cloak change. So that's just slightly cheaper. 2,200 um, has gone down to 2,110 gold. So cheaper Spirit Visage. It's pretty good. I like Spirit Visage. I build it every once in a while. Next, let's go to Void Staff. Void Staff... Um, Void Staff has been nerfed. It has gone from 70 AP to 60 AP. My guess is this is a result of people end up right tinkering with um, items that give penetration are just really good now. So yeah, the flat AP on it has been nerfed. Mm, we'll see how that goes. Zeke's Herald is next. Um, the cost has actually gone up on this item from 2,450 to 2,550, but the cooldown reduction has been buffed from 15% to 20%. So in my opinion, that's actually quite a good change um, because you know supports are going to be mostly getting Zeke's Herald anyway. Although you see certain other people sometimes get it, but um, so as a result of that, it becomes. I think, in my opinion, a much more attractive item for supports. Uh, lastly, we have Zonya's Hourglass. So Zonya's Hourglass has gone through um, a very minor change. As you guys know, it be build, build, builds out of Secrets Arm Guard now. But the total cost has been reduced to two th or 3,260. Um, that's down from 3,410 cost. So that's all the items I have seen. Uh, I'm not saying that's all the changes. I may have missed one or two things. I doubt it because I've been pretty thorough in checking about what's going on. But, um, yeah, that's the, the changes so far for this patch um, in terms of items. Of course, this is the test realm, so none of this is final. Um, we probably want to you know, check the actual patch notes when the, this patch is finally released, like, I don't know, two weeks from now, or whenever they decide to release this patch. Um, but... Yeah, I'll be covering all the other uh, changes on the test realm, or all the other changes I find interesting at the very least on the test realm. There are a couple other things, but uh, we'll get into that in future videos. There's some skins coming up, too. So, yeah, thanks for watching. This has been Ponce from lifeattheleague.com slash livestream. You can always check out my website at uh, in the description below. I live stream every weekday, 1 p.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time-ish. It's a bit... The schedule is a bit more rough because I'm currently in Vancouver, not on the East Coast. But I try and keep to that schedule when possible. Um, other than that, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, I hope to see you around for future videos.